Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday, October 11, 2023. We haven't seen each other in a little bit, but what a weekend we had in college and pro football. Uh, we pushed our show record to 50 and 27, 65% winners. I hope everybody had the opportunity to tail those games. I appreciate everybody joining us. I'm Dana Lane, and welcome to Against the Public. We're the only show that climbs through early betting patterns by the public, shows you exactly where you might want to steer clear of early public opinion. Today, we're going to fill a request for an NHL show. We're going to go through five spots on a six-game card where the majority of money is on a side or total. Our job is to steer you clear of early betting patterns that might take your money from your bankroll. Uh, if you you, know, if you want to stay with them, you know that's more than uh, we'll, we'll talk about it later on in the show. But our job is to kind of steer you clear and you know that you know the, the 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 guys in the desert didn't build these places on winter so let's go try to go against that okay before we get to that i'm going to do something we have not done before i see thousands of viewers watching the show um, i know there's thousands more out there potentially could uh, join us in the in the future and i'm going to reward you for your time today uh, and we're going to try it out we're going to see what happens i have already discounted my all access pass uh, that means you get every nhl play every major league baseball nfl college football nba upcoming college basketball you name it you'll get it and we discounted it 100 dollars 299.99 that's less than 10 bucks a day is more than less than more than less yeah, less than 10 bucks a day especially in october when there's 31 days um this price is going to be up until 4 p.m uh, Pacific time, which is seven o'clock Eastern time, this package will be up. Get every single selection right now for just $299.99 over the next 30 days. That is an incredible deal. After that, it's going to go up to $399, back up to its normal price. I just want to see, just do a little experiment and see if, uh, you know, if that kind of moves the meter. We do, listen, I appreciate everybody getting on my individual plays, my weekly plays, my three packs. I mean, it, that's never a problem. But I also kind of wondered why long term have more people not join uh, for 30 days or a season long pass and you know so we're going to try something today maybe it's the price and if it's the price we'll figure it out today uh, of course our plays are up also individually or in in many forms of three packs and you know a week and it's it's all up there it's got something for everybody uh, i realize not everybody's got 299 laying around but our job is to get you to the point where 299 is is just play money so that's what we're going to do our mlb customers know what we're talking about 11 wins in our last 15 games that's good for number one on the site over the last week so we'll keep that rolling today before we get to our games let's let's check out last season's nhl betting numbers and not la just last season over a long period of time because i like many people when i go down this numerical uh, path of uh, I gotta, I gotta figure out the numbers. You know, I got that. You know that meme, the the beautiful mind meme. Well, that's not me, but it's close to me. I think it's me. My wife doesn't think it's me. Um, since 2005, NHL favorites are 12,679 and 8,661. That's good for 59.1 percent winners, minus 291.92 units based upon a one unit wager. Uh, what that tells you is the NHL is by far the most difficult sport to wager on because we are dealing with gigantic money lines. Money lines we don't see in Major League Baseball. We're also dealing with the longest schedule of any of the sports too. So it is, it is when we talk about the daily grind of baseball, it is nothing compared to the daily grind of the NHL. Last season, 815 and 499 favorites were good for 62.02% winners. Minus 38.10 uh, units lost based on a one unit wager. Obviously, we are dealing with uh, money lines that make it extremely difficult. But I thought, okay, over the last 18 years, and I go back that far, not because, you know, I think what happened 18 years ago is, is relevant, but I am trying to find a number uh, that will say, hey, look, this has worked over a long period of time. And you have to dig deep to find this, this number. And I think we, we kind of did. The secret is the small favorites. And I'm not talking about minus $1.30. I'm talking about smaller than that. 
less than a dollar ten. Hopefully, you got a book that you know gives you uh, you know minus a dollar six favorites. That's really what we're looking for. So anywhere between teams that are uh, one less than one ten since two thousand five. Those teams, those favorites, and we're just talking about favorites, have won 53.42% of the time, uh, but good for 52.48 units. Sorry if I'm shaking my desk. I got a new desk and still learning the nuances of it. Since 2019, if we add this filter, uh, you would have won over 56% of your wagers plus 15.55 units. However, it's going to be difficult to find these games because it, it can't be your only handicapping tool. It has to be something that you kind of put to the side and say, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to use this if I need it because the last two years, it just has not been enough plays. In fact, there's only been 36 plays uh, that we could put our money behind. But in 2021, there was 86 plays. In 2019, check that, 60 in 2021, 86 in 2019. So there are, have been seasons where uh, this is in play quite a bit. Kind of write that down. Maybe if you see something on the NHL card and you can kind of keep it in the back of your mind. But that is really the sweet spot for betting favorites. And of course, uh, we know anytime we're dealing with, with money lines, we're just dealing with a bunch of landmines and we, we have to uh, tread lightly because it is building a bankroll, uh, utilizing money lines. It's much more difficult than when we're talking about against the spread. Okay, let's get to our games. Ottawa Senators versus the Carolina Hurricanes. The Hurricanes minus a dollar eight eight eighty eight six over minus fifteen. Uh, Corpus Allo and Freddie Anderson uh, are your uh, listed goaltenders, and I always say listed because you always want to make sure. Uh, a lot of sites will put uh, goaltenders up as uh, you know projected goaltenders. Uh, but there are some sites out there that will obviously confirm those goaltenders after morning skate. So I'm always skeptical of playing on teams that play deep into the playoffs or had a real successful season. And I, I know that didn't hold true for the Golden Knights last night, but there is a cranking up process for some of these teams that may take them a little bit longer uh, than others to get to that point where they where they left off. Uh, you don't need to win a Stanley Cup or lose a Stanley Cup. The field, I don't know, full. They have your belly, belly full for the next year. Sometimes it takes two or three games to say, whoa, whoa, this is not what we did last year. We're on to another season. And I think the Ottawa Senators are certainly a team that are ready to establish themselves. They've seemed like a hungry, hungry team. I said that last year at the end of the season that Ottawa was my number one team to make the biggest move into this season. There also is the factor of some teams having to find chemistry because there's moving parts. And we see this on the Carolina Blue Line. We see Anthony D'Angelo back. And we saw, uh, after he came back from the Flyers, we saw they acquired uh, Dmitry Orlov, who signed a two-year deal. Uh, Brady, Brady Shea, who was terrific last year uh, with, with Jacob Slavin. Carolina will be very good. There's no doubt about it. But I think Ottawa has a chance to surprise the 73% of the wagers who are on Carolina tonight. So we're going to take Ottawa with the plus money. Montreal, Toronto, Jake Allen, Ilya Samsonov. New GM, Brad Tree Living. Uh, you know, he, he, he it was absolutely apparent and clear what he wanted to do with the Toronto Maple Leafs. And that was, abs that was get tougher. Uh, they brought in Ryan Reeves. Golden Knights fans know uh, his impact. Uh, Max Domi, Tyler Bertuzzi. I mean, these are not guys you're bringing in to be 100-point scorers. Uh, they can smell tonight going into this game. I think they can smell the fact that they will be able to bully this Montreal team around that probably will not make the postseason again this year. Uh, I have no feel for how good Montreal is going to be, but I do know this. I know they were bad on special teams last year, both for and against. And if they're bad on special teams, on the power play, then we can't we can't lean on them to push us over this total, even though we know Toronto has a you know extremely powerful offense. I think it's going to be a, a you know a five one a, you know a four one game that sort of thing. Uh, so obviously that's going to push us under the six and a half, and we're getting even money uh, despite the fact that the majority of money of the money is on the over, which is not anything that's out of the ordinary when we're talking about uh, Toronto. I think. For me, Montreal's best talents is, is probably still in, in Laval, 
And I think that you'll see uh, a lot of those guys come up from the rocket uh, as the year goes on. Okay, game number three, Winnipeg at Calgary, uh, Hellebuck versus Markstrom. Calgary Flames have 84% of the public money moving that number up from Calgary minus the uh, minus a dollar twenty-eight, or down rather, to a dollar twenty-six. And I like the go against teams that may again go against teams that may take a couple games to figure it out. Uh, and not only on the ice for for uh, Calgary, but off the ice as well. We saw Daryl Sutter is out. Brad Tree Living is uh, off to another job. Uh, Ryan Huska has got his first you know, massive, you know, <laughs> the first coaching. Uh, job in front of him. He's got a full season of, in front of him. He was behind the bench for a cup of coffee uh, last year. But uh, it, look, uh, between him, uh, I just think that the, I think there's going to be some nuances of the game where Rick Bonus is going to have uh, the Winnipeg head coach is going to have an advantage, even though uh, we see we know that Huska is going to have second change, so he was going to have the matchup advantage. I, I think there's a coaching mismatch here. I, I think it's. Uh, uh, the disciple versus the teacher, something like that. Uh, we're going to take advantage of that. I'm going to take Winnipeg plus a dollar seventeen. Colorado at Los Angeles. Uh, Georgiev against Cam Talbot, as expected. Ninety percent of the early money is coming in on the Avalanche, which has moved this number to a dollar twenty after opening up a uh, minus a dollar fifteen. One of the bigger moves on the board today. And I know Colorado fans are excited. Uh, there was plenty of excuses. I heard it all off season as to why Colorado didn't win another Stanley Cup. But between injuries and and probably in financial constraints for sure, there were some legitimate argument to be made that you know just Colorado was not at full strength and they're not going to be at full strength again this year. We know Landis Gog is going to be out the entire season with that knee injury. Uh, and, and Chris McFarlane, you know, he knew he had to go out and get more more depth. Uh, I need to see how the departures and the acquisitions are going to mesh before laying a number on the road in Los Angeles opening night. I'm going to take the Kings plus $1.10. We're going to also make this a two-pack with a total. 76% of the money is on the under. I can't trust the Kings goaltending yet. Uh, Rob like obviously loves himself some Cam Talbot because they did not move uh, in that. I'm going to take the over minus uh, over six minus a dollar twenty. Okay, so that does it for today's plays. Just a recap: Ottawa plus a dollar seventy, Montreal, Toronto under six and a half even money, Winnipeg, Winnipeg plus one seventeen, Los Angeles plus a dollar ten, Colorado and the Kings over six minus a dollar twenty. Before I go, right now. Guys, I slashed my prices on the 30-day all-access pass. Right now, you can get it for less than $10 a day. To, you get every single selection, college football, pro football, uh, National Hockey League, Major League Baseball, NBA, college basketball, everything for less than $10 a day. And, of course, that price is going to be up until 7 o'clock Eastern Time, 4 o'clock Pacific, and it will be listed on the website as the against the public package should be the first thing that pops up. Please get involved. I, I think you'll be very happy that you that you did. Also have three M MLB, NHL, and college football winners up there as individual plays and my college football uh, three pack. No matter how you join me, make sure that you do. Thank you so much for your time, and I hope I wish you guys nothing but the best with your wagers today. Sorry if I shook the camera. I'll get better at that. For Against the Public, I'm Dana Lane. We'll see you tomorrow. Good luck.